Okay, so let's just spend a couple minutes here doing a high-level overview of um, the Brightmetrics dashboard. So again, under our sidebar menu on the left, I'm going to go to the Edit Dashboard section. So this is where we're going to create new dashboards or any edit any of the existing dashboards in the system. So you'll see right across the top these different colored tabs. Each one of these is its own uh, dashboard. So again, dashboards can be both uh, historical and real-time. So you can have separate uh, historical dashboards, you can have separate real-time dashboards, or you can um, have dashboards that have that show both historical and real-time data uh, together. All right, so um, if I go into, uh, for example, our TTX Support Center dashboard here, and now you can see we're viewing real-time information on our uh, on our help desk. And this bottom chart here is our total talk and release time by agent. So this is looking at historical data for the day, right? So it's not necessarily real-time information, but I can see totals for the day based on breakout of uh, different agents and, and their talk or release time. Same thing here with the total ACD calls versus uh, NACD. I'm not going to get into all the different terminology right now um, with the different metrics. There are so many different available metrics and the terminology can be confusing, but again, if you go to the help section um, and the data definitions, that'll explain what those mean. And then up here, obviously, I've got real-time information. So real-time information on our agents, you know, a particular group here, our help desk, how many agents are logged in, how many agents are available, how many, how many calls are queued on the left-hand side, and if there are calls in queue, the current max queue time. And you'll notice, based on status here, we can change uh, we can change these cells different colors. All right, so most of the charts. So incidentally, each one of these tabs is a dashboard. Within a dashboard, you can have multiple charts. So each one of these boxes is its own unique chart. So a lot of the charts are configurable, so you can add thresholds to them and change uh, the color of um, different cells and different parts of the dashboard based on thresholds. So uh, it, it's really useful um, to grab your attention, right? So if we see something red flash up, we, we know that we might uh, need to take a look at um, responding to something going on within the call center. All right, so clicking on any of these um, existing tabs or dashboards, we can go into any of the charts. So each chart at the very bottom will have this little down arrow. And if you click that drop down box, go into chart options. So this is where we would edit existing information showing in that chart. If I wanted to add a new chart for the particular dashboard I'm in, just going up to the top here and clicking, create, clicking on create chart, uh, I can choose it whether I want to view historical information or real-time information, or if I have the short tell enterprise contact center module, um, I can add in that information as well. So if I wanted to add a real-time report here, uh, clicking on the short tell, short -tell real-time drop down and then my data source. So I want to view work group information, agent status, again, potentially information if I have the enterprise contact center, real time agent group, um, and even DNS and system information there. All right, so again, just super high level overview in the next couple of videos here, we'll, we'll talk about creating some custom dashboards, maybe some basic uh, real-time metrics that the average call center supervisor would want to look at, and then editing some of that information as well.